Hello, my name is Nigel Palmer and I'm the author of the book The Regenerative Grower's Guide to Garden Amendments. In this short video, I'm going to start off my tomatoes for the year. I want to eliminate as much stress as possible on these tomatoes. I want to reduce the stress of transplanting, reduce the stress of nutrition, and reduce the stress of temperature. To do so, I'm going to be using soil blocks and those soil blocks are going to be put on a heat mat with temperature control. But the most important aspect of this video is nutrition. I'm going to be feeding my tomatoes fermented plant juice of tomato. I know that the fermented plant juice of tomato has all the minerals that tomatoes need. I've actually done the analysis of that and you can see that at my website, nigel-palmer.com. I'm going to include the tomato fermented plant juice into the soil block so that that tomato seed not only germinates with all the nutrition it needs, but the first weeks of its life, when it develops leaves, will also have that nutrient available to it. Well, here we are in the beginning of April, and I'm going to start my tomatoes, and I'm gonna start them in blocks. I like to make soil blocks for my tomatoes. I have everything I need. I've got some rainwater, so I'm going to mix some fermented plant juice of tomatoes in my rainwater so that I get all the minerals that a tomato needs throughout the entire soil block. So not only during germination, but also in the very beginning of this plant's life, it will have all the minerals it needs throughout the soil block. And I'm gonna start this process by mixing the fermented plant juice into the rainwater. And I'm gonna use a dilution ratio of 500 to one. There's about four gallons of rainwater in this five gallon bucket. So I'll add two tablespoons of fermented plant juice to this, and that will give me a ratio very, very close to 500 to one. And of course, I'm gonna mix this by spinning the water in the bucket. And that's seven. Now I'm ready to actually make the soil blocks, and so the first thing I'll do is add material. And what I want to do is I want to add enough material so that when I push down on the soil blocker, it's going to be thicker than this, so it gets some compression. And then I'll add water. And I can always add more soil, and what I'm after here is a peanut butter type consistency. getting here. I can see there's too much water in here, which is fine. Because I can always add more soil. There. It's got that peanut butter feel to it. You can see that not a lot of moisture comes up when I Push it down. That's looking pretty good. And if I wanted to, I can just merely put some material up at the end I want to work with. To make it that thickness that I want. So that's a good thickness. A little bit thicker than the tool. So I'm ready to make a soil block. So I want to put my soil blocks on something that I can move them around and the water from underneath. Nice. My tomatoes are going to like it in there. The soil blocks are in containers so that I can move them around and I can water from the bottom. I have a temperature control mat, so this mat is keeping the soil blocks at a controlled temperature. And I set the temperature here and this provides current to the mat and heats it up. But I also have a feedback loop from the temperature inside a soil block telling me what the temperature is. Next, I'm going to prepare the 
liquid for soaking the seeds. I have rainwater here, and I'm going to add to that my uh, tomato fermented plant juice, just a tiny bit, so that these seeds are going to soak in that solution. So here's a few of those brandy wine seeds, and we'll let these soak. So my seeds have been soaking for quite a while, and now I'm going to put them into the soil. Got a teaspoon thing that I use to take them out, like that. And then, so now I got them on the spoon, then I use a small screwdriver to actually do the planting. I'll scoop one off. Put it in a hole, and then loosen some stuff up over that. Good. Got it. And then into the hole. 